You may be familiar with hermit crabs, the adorable and often tiny crustaceans that totter along the beach toting their bodies in seashells. Meet their enormous relatives, coconut crabs. Their leg span is up to a meter, they have incredible grip strength and they can lift objects the weight of a 10-year-old child. Let's get started. Coconut crabs are the largest land arthropods in the world. The Japanese spider crab is the largest crustacean in the world, but since they are strictly marine dwellers, the coconut crab claims the title of the largest crab found on land. They are found on islands in the Indian Ocean, the Indo-Pacific region, and the Southern Pacific Ocean. They can weigh up to 4 kilograms and measure approximately 1 meter from tip of claw on one leg to the opposing tip on another leg. This crab's name comes from its looks and diet. The brown and green colors of a coconut crab's shell help it blend in when it climbs palm trees. The species is popularly associated with the coconut palm, yet coconuts are not a significant part of its diet. Although it lives in a burrow the crab has been filmed climbing coconut and pandanus trees. There is no film showing a crab selectively picking coconut fruit, though they might dislodge ripe fruit that otherwise would fall naturally. Climbing is an immediate escape route to avoid predation by large seabirds or cannibalism by bigger older crabs. Coconut crabs are related to hermit crabs, and they act like it when they're young. Because its shell is thin and soft when it is small, a juvenile coconut crab wears an empty seashell or coconut husk on its back. As the crab grows, its shell becomes thicker and harder, a super suit of armor. Since they do most of their hunting at night, sensitivity to smell is vital for coconut crab survival. As they forage in the dark, the smell of fruit, nuts, or small animals attracts the crabs to their prey. As much as 40% of a coconut crab's brain is completely dedicated to smell, while their visual and sensory skills are similar to those of marine crustaceans, despite the fact that coconut crabs live exclusively on land. Adult coconut crabs feed on fruits, nuts, seeds, and the pith of fallen trees, but will eat carrion and other organic matter opportunistically. Their diet encompasses a variety of things, so anything left unattended becomes a potential source of food for them, including any smelly objects you have laying around. They will investigate the potential food item and then carry it away, earning them the nickname robber crab. Experts believe that the reason why the crabs steal such specific items has to do with the coconut crab's acute scent organs. It takes a lot of effort to crack a coconut, unless you're a coconut crab, of course. Their claws are strong enough to lift objects as heavy as 61 pounds, while their grip is about 10 times stronger than that of humans. A 9-pound coconut crab has a crushing force of 3,300 newtons, significantly higher than other crustaceans like lobsters, who only have claw strengths of 150 newtons. Not only does this exceed the grip strength of humans and lobsters, but also the bite force of most terrestrial predators. While coconut crabs are not poisonous, they can become poisonous by eating certain foods, like the sea mango, a coastal tree that is extremely toxic to humans. Coconut crabs are primarily nocturnal, preferring to live alone in rock crevices or sandy burrows that they dig themselves. Burying their bodies in the loose soil or sand helps the animals maintain moisture, especially helpful in the tropical climates where they live. Generally, adults only leave their hideouts in search of food or during mating season. Baby coconut crabs have a long journey from birth. Female coconut crabs release their eggs straight into the ocean and once they hatch, the larvae are dependent on floating driftwood or coconut husks to keep them safe for four to six weeks. They then sink to the seafloor and find a seashell to protect themselves from predators before migrating towards the shore. Babies spend another four weeks surfing the tide until they grow large enough to make their way onto land. Once they reach adulthood, coconut crabs lose their ability to swim and will drown if they end up back in the water. Coconut crabs reach sexual maturity at around five years old, but after that they are extremely slow-growing. 
Females give birth just once a year, and their offspring face many dangers from predators while they're young and vulnerable. Although they do live for a relatively long time, anywhere from 40 to 60 years, their slow growth rate makes it very easy to over-harvest coconut crabs. Located underground on tropical islands, coconut crab habitats tend to be isolated, so they don't have many predators. The biggest threat faced by a coconut crab comes from over-harvesting by humans, but also from habitat loss caused by rising sea levels. There are some hunting regulations across the Pacific Islands and certain governments have set limits on how many crabs can be caught in a specific area. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I